Good morning, Red Hawks. I hope you are having a wonderful Friday. Yesterday, you went over multiplicative comparisons and what that means. Today, we're going to be going over a certain type of multiplicative comparisons. So, um, we've been looking at multiplicative comparisons, and again, a multiplicative comparison is a word problem using multiplication to compare. Okay, so we're using multiplication to compare two or maybe even three things. Um, this is important to know that it is using word problems. So when we are looking at multiplicative comparisons, we're always going to be looking at a word problem. All right. So today we're going to be focusing on multiplicative comparisons with an unknown product. Now, if there is an unknown product, what does unknown mean? Yes, it means you don't know what it is. Okay. And what is a product? You should know what a product is. Yes, an answer to a multiplication problem. Good. So, now that we know what an unknown product is, which is we don't know what the answer is to the problem, I'm going to show you what the equation looks like. This is what an unknown product equation looks like. It would be a number times another number equals a question mark because we're not exactly sure what our product is. So, 3 times 2 equals question mark. We don't know what it is. So when we are looking at word problems today, we are going to be having to find the unknown product. We're going to have to find that final answer, okay? So there are three ways that we are going to look at this today. We're going to be looking at equal groups, we're going to be looking at arrays, and we're going to be looking at comparing. I wrote down here some examples as to how it would look. The numbers I used were 3 times 2. So if we were looking at equal groups, we would have three groups of two. If we were looking at arrays, we would have three rows of two. And if we were comparing, we would be using the bar model and having um, a box that equals two. And then we would have three down below that equal two to make six because our answer would end up being so we're trying to remember, we're trying to figure out what our final product is. So we're going to be looking at equal groups, arrays, and comparing. So we're going to be looking at grouping, we're going to be looking at using an array, and we're going to be looking at using our bar model. First, we're going to start off with working with equal groups. All right, so today we're going to be looking at our unknown product. Now, this is something that you have been doing for a while now, probably since first grade. You've been trying to find the unknown product. Um, this is something that, again, you have been working with for a very long time. Later, we're going to be working with um, some more difficult um, things, but this week is just an introduction, so don't worry about that today. Um, so. We're again looking for the unknown product. So we're gonna be first looking at equal groups. Then we have to first read our word problem. That is our first step when looking at multiplicative comparisons or any word problem, is you gotta read the whole thing and figure out what is important in the word problem. So there are three bags with six plums in each bag. How many plums are there in all? So what is our important information? Think about it. We need to know that there are three bags and there are six plums in each bag. Okay, so now I know I, I'm going to have to have groups and I'm going to have to have items. So I need to figure out how many groups and how many items. Okay, that's my first step. And then we need to know how many plums are in all. All right. So if there are three bags and six plums in each bag, what are our groups? Is it the three bags or the th six plums? Yes, it's the three bags. Our three bags are our groups, right? Because we are going to be putting in to the bag six plums. So that means our six plums are going to be our items. All right, so we know that there are three bags, and we know that there are six, bla ba ugh, 
six plums in each bag. So now I have to draw. Okay, this is important. We're working with equal groups. So now I have to actually draw my groups. So how many bags, how many groups am I going to draw? Yes, I'm going to draw three groups. One, two, three. And I'm going to make sure I have six plums in each bag. Because it's not six plums in all, it's six plums in each of the bags. All right. So now I need to put six plums in each bag. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those represent my plums and the circles represent my bags. So I have three bags, one, two, three. I have six plums, six in each Six in this bag, six in this bag, and six in this bag. So perfect. I have equal groups. Every single one of my groups looks exactly the same. Now I can multiply. I can um, count. I could go ahead and count all of my circles in each bag to figure out how many plums there are in all. Or I can find out my multiplication problem or equation. So my multiplication equation would start out with my three bags because that's how many groups and how many items is six. And that's going to equal my product, which we don't know yet. My variable, <coughs> I would probably put, I'm gonna put an A just because we're trying to find in all. So I'm trying to find three times six equals A. So now I know my multiplication. I have my equal groups all drawn out. Now I can actually figure it out. Again, I could go and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and keep going there. Or I could skip count six, 12, 18. Or I could go, I know, three times six equals 18. So my answer is 18. Okay? So that's how you use equal groups, all right? So now I'm going to show you what it would look like if we were looking at an array problem. Okay, so we just looked at equal groups with an unknown product. Now we're gonna be looking at arrays with an unknown product. So let's go ahead and read our problem. There are three rows of apples with six apples in each row. How many apples are there? All right, so we've gotta figure out what's important. There are three rows of apples, and there are six apples in each row, okay? <clears throat> How many apples are there? That's important. So we are trying, we know that there are three rows of apples and there are six apples in each row. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw my array. So remember, when we are looking at rows, rows go across, if I'm looking at a column, Columns go um, down, okay? So we have three rows. So I'm gonna have one row, two rows, three rows, okay? One, two, three. So there are my three rows that I've started. Now how many apples are in each row? Six, good. So I'm gonna go across and have six apples in each row. So I have one already, two, Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you want to make sure that your um, apples are lining up. My little items, okay? And then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I have my six in each row, and I asked. I accidentally forgot to go ahead and put what I know down here. So I know that my rows equal three apples and my columns equal six apples. Okay, so sh we should have six rows, 
that means three rows and six columns. So we have one, two, three rows, and then one, two, three, four, five, six columns. Good, awesome, okay. So now that we have that, we've got to find our multiplication problem. So again, we start off with three rows of apples. So we start off with three. Then we're going to multiply six because we're trying to figure out how many are there in all. So how many apples are there in all? So my variable is going to be A for apples. All right, so again, we already know the answer to this one because, well, we already um, figured this out before with equal groups. But let's go ahead and check. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Or I can say 3 times 6 is 18. So I know that my A, my variable, equals 18. And so I know how many apples are there? There are 18 apples, okay? So, and you want to make sure that you are writing there are 18 apples, um, just because it's important to know what we are trying to find. And when um, somebody asks you a, a word problem, they want to know, you know, there are 18 apples, there are um, 15 chickens, or whatever it, um, the word problem is asking. All right? So we just worked with an array where you draw the dots in rows and columns, and then you can count them up. And we found our multiplication problem because we're looking for the product. Therefore, whatever our um, whatever the two numbers equals our product. So we know that the two numbers are going to go and be multiplied together, and we're going to have to try to find that product. All right, last one. We're going to, we just did equal groups. We just did arrays. Now we are going to be looking at comparing, okay? All right. So we're on our last problem. Um, we are looking at unknown products and using compare, and we are going to be comparing with the bar model. And I know Ms. Britt showed you this yesterday, um, but now we're really going to dive into the bar model. I feel like out of the three, this one can be a little bit more challenging. So make sure that you're paying attention so you can understand what to do, okay? So our first step, as always, is to read and find our important information. A blue hat costs $6. A red hot hat costs three times as much as the blue hat. How much does the red hat cost? All right, so we're looking at a blue hat and we're looking at a red hat. My important information is that a blue hat is $6 and a red hat costs three times as much, three times as much as the blue hat, okay? I'm gonna box in my three times because that's important and my six. Now it's asking how much does the red hat cost? How much, how much does that red hat cost? So we're trying to figure out how much the red hat costs? So let's figure out what we know. I'm gonna use my red and my blue to help us out with this problem. So I know that my blue hat is $6, okay? I know that. I know that the blue hat is $6. It's not, that is not changing. I know that my red hat is three times as much. Um, and you're going to be seeing words like as much or as many or um, different uh, phrases that mean that you are multiplying. Um, so just if you're saying as much or as many or times, um, that means that we're multiplying that number, okay? So we know that the red hat is three times as much as the the blue hat. Okay, and so with my bar model, I'm going to start off by saying my blue hat, and I know that my blue hat 
is six dollars. So there's my bar. And I only have one because I know that my one blue hat is six dollars. Now underneath, I'm gonna put my red hat, okay? I know that my red hat is three times as, min as much. So that means that my red hat is going to be three times more than my blue hat. So that means I'm going to have not one bo um, bar, not two bars, but three bars. So I have one bar, two bars, three bars. Now do you understand why? This is the total cost of the red hat. Okay, so that's my, this is my total cost of the red hat and this is my total cost of the blue hat. I know that the total cost of the red hat is three times more than the blue hat, so I'm gonna have three more of these sixes to show how much my red hat is. So I have six, six, and six. So my blue hat stays the same, and I know my red hat is three times more. So we have one, two, three times, and then those boxes are still gonna have six in it because it's three times more than the blue hat, and the blue hat was $6. So we have $6, $6, and $6. So I ask, how much does the red hat cost? So now we've got to figure out, what is this $6 plus $6 plus $6? So again, you could add that way, or you could find the multiplication problem. So we started out with the blue hat being $6, and we're multiplying it three times to get our answer. And I'm just going to put R for red hat as my variable. So it's six times three. And I could come over to my, mo my bar model and I, I could go six plus six, which is 12, plus six, which is 18. So I know that my red hat equals $18 because $18 is three times more than six, okay? So R equals $18. And so I could say, I'll just come over here, I'm run out of room. The red hat is $18. My red hat is $18. All right, so the red hat is $18. I have all of my work here. And now you are going to do exactly what we just did today. Now, if you are struggling with this and you're watching this before the live lesson, please come on the live lesson so I can help you out. Um, but again, unknown product is going to be our easiest that we are going to be working with. Next week, we have two others that we're gonna be teaching you, and it's gonna be a little bit harder because you're not going to be finding that product. You might have to find the groups, or you, have to, you might have to find how many groups or how many items are in a group, okay? But as far as we know, um, we're gonna be dealing with equal groups, arrays, and comparing and using the bar model, okay? I'm gonna show you your work and then you can go ahead and get started. All right, so your work today is going to be a Google slide. Um, so here's our first slide. The essential question is how do I find multiplicative comparisons with unknown products, okay? It tells us how much the assignment is and we've got some pictures to show you. Um, and then the multiplicative comparisons is when you compare numbers or amounts using multiplication. So watch this. We have an example of equal groups, the one that I showed you today. Then you go and you actually do your own. You'll put, let me let that move out of the way. So you're gonna put, you're gonna drag your circles over to make groups. And then you're gonna put your multiplication problem down below. And let me get out of here so I can really show you. Okay, so down here, you're gonna put your multiplication problems. Here, you'll double click. Put down your multiplication problem, 
And then look, you can actually take these circles and slide them out for how many groups you need. And then you take your little dots and put them into the groups to show how many items are in each group, just like that, okay? So that is your first, um, that's your first one. Second one, ex same thing, I've got my example problem, okay? Now, I've got problem number two. This one, to show your work, you're gonna come over and use the dots at the top, and you're gonna slide them into place, showing your rows, your rows that go horizontal, and your columns that go vertical, okay? And you're gonna put however many dots you need to in here, and then you put your multiplication equation there. All right, last one. We've got your example problem for the bar bottle. The one that I did today, it looks a little bit different because the red is on top, uh, but it was just kind of trying to show you, so don't worry about that. And then here, okay, look, you take your yellow, put it out, take your, your green and put it out, okay? Try to line these up so they match, okay? And then you'll put your um, multiplication word problem right here, all right? Okay, so this is your work. If you have any trouble, please um, contact your teachers so we can help you out. Remember, we can only help you out until 3.30 because we are done after 3.30 on Fridays. So go ahead and get started. If you want to come to our live lesson, do, you can do that as well and then get started on your work. I'll see you later. Bye, Red Hawks.